to go see some exotic statues and whatever else is in there. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Wait, what about this old bloke? He doesn't get any loving? He's never been so happy. Ow! It's <laughs> not pleasurable at all. So it's actually really serene and beautiful, really pretty gardens. You kind of forget where you are. It feels like a botanical gardens, and then you kind of look a bit closer and you're like, oh, okay. That's interesting, interesting artwork. <laughs> is essentially just a big outdoor like sculpture park there's lots and lots of random sexual sculptures all over the place like this right behind us is a huge big mosaic willy and testicles squirting out down the end so the whole park is just about free expression of sex and sexual acts and love Imagine going to art school to be the sculptor that makes all these. Entry was 12,000 won per person, which is, yeah, which is pretty good. It's like $15 Australian, so it's actually not too bad at all. And you basically just get your entry ticket, roam in and enjoy. Into the gardens. So fun fact, there are 140 sculptures at Jeju Loveland. This place is just really cool and fascinating and fun and it's just a really good who the hell's this guy He's a rest. oh yeah <laughs> looks like it so as we were walking around it was getting a little bit hot jeju gets to about 30 degrees but luckily we stumbled upon a shop where you can buy ice cream. So I got grape flavour. I got melon flavour. You can also get some other little treats. So at Loveland there's lots of opportunities to take cool photos in front of colourful, quirky statues. That's it for our adventure at Loveland Jeju Island in South Korea. <laughs>